Uh, welcome back to Rainbow Kids. Alhamdulillah, I'm joined with two more wonderful guests and they have some exciting stuff to share with us. So um, stay with us for the rest of the show. Uh, let me introduce you to the guests first. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Rainbow Kids. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> are you happy to be here? Yes. yes. Well, I'm happy to have you here. And uh, I can see you are very excited. And I can't see a single bit of nervousness. You're very confident, right? Yes. That's very nice, alhamdulillah. So welcome to the show, inshallah. You'll enjoy the rest of the show, just mm -hmm. like I, I will hopefully. Uh, but before I, uh, we speak uh, more um, to yourselves, I'm going to take a call. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, Kola. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Kola. Okay, are you still there? Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you, brother? Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Hello. Can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Okay, I would request you to call back, inshallah. For some reason, um, we're not getting through the call. Um, Assalamu alaikum. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Can you hear us, brother? Okay. Okay, inshallah, we'll come back to the calls. Um, so, let's find out what your names are and what you like doing. And if you go to your school or do you just sit down at home? Let's find out. Uh, who do we have on, the, on, um, on my so right? My name's Tausif, yes. and I'm nearly 10. Nearly 10? So you are also not 9, but you're nearly 10? No, I am 9. You're 9, okay. <laughs> yeah, so um, I go to Harry Gosling Primary, okay. just like the other two. Okay. And, uh, are you in year 5 as well? Yes, I am in year 5. Okay, mashallah. Good stuff. Are you, uh, you just started year 5, isn't it? Yes. Mm, one of the big boys in the school. You don't bully anyone, do you? No. MashaAllah, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, what, what's your favorite things uh, when you are free? Like um, when you have time to do um, things? I like reading books. Mm -hmm. um, I like uh, playing with my brother. Okay. Uh, I can see some similarities. Uh, I'm not going to say he's your brother, but you can tell me if he is. Uh, yeah, he is. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> okay. MashaAllah. Anything else? Uh, no. I okay, we'll talk to your brother in a bit, but let's try to take the call again. Assalamu alaikum, Kola. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. Uh, yes, please put him through, inshallah. We'll speak to him. Yeah. Assalamu Wa alaikum as salam. What's your name? What's your name? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. Can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Can you please put the TV, TV volume down, please? Wa alaikum assalam. Okay, I think if Okay, we've lost the call. When you just a reminder to our friends at home, when you do call, please call away from the TV and the, put the TV volume down, please. Thank you very much. So we can, um, we look forward to your calls. You can still call us. We are more than happy to take your calls, inshallah. So we found out a little bit about Tausif. Uh, he likes playing with his brother uh, and he likes reading his book, reading books. Yes. Anything else you like? Uh, no. You don't like anything else. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. It's okay. You'll, 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 you'll like more things as you grow up, inshallah. <laughs> what about you, sir? What's your name? My name is Tahsin Muhammad Zabir. Tahsin yeah. Muhammad. Zabir, yeah. Zabir, yeah. You have long name. <laughs> so does uh, um, everyone call you the same name, or everyone you have one name for every one person? Mm, he ju they just call one name like Tahsin. That's Tahsin. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Can I call you by another name? <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, Tahsin. Um, how old are you? Um, nearly seven. You nearly seven. <laughs> so you are not six, but you're nearly seven. I am six, but I'm nearly seven. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> All right, you like to say you're seven, yeah? <laughs> okay, then. And um, and what do you like doing? Um, doing nothing? Re reading, yeah. What kind of things do you like reading, then? 
um, reading books, yeah. Books? Yeah. What was the last book you read? Do you remember? You don't remember that book? Yeah. No problem. Would you, what would you like to do today? Mm, um, with a surah takasur. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead when you're ready, Inshallah. Bismillah. How will you first? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الهاكم التكاثر حتى ترتم المقابر كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترعن الجحيم ثم لترعنها عين اليقين ثم لتسألن يومئذ عن النعيم ما شاء الله تحسن you have a beautiful voice and you have a beautiful recitation ما شاء الله what are you reading at the moment in your class uh, you reading جزء عما قرآن where where are you reading Quran and Andrew Zamma. Andrew Okay. Who, do you know who your teacher is? Uh, yeah. Auntie Fatima. Auntie Fatima as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Fatima will be very proud of you today. <laughs> and um, and which school do you go to then? Uh, Harry Gosling. Harry Gosling. I mean, which fora do you go to? Uh, is he is he a private teacher or do you go to a place to learn? Do you go to a place to learn Quran or you finish reading? Um, no, I don't go to a place to learn. Like, I learn at home. He goes to a place in Rainbow House. Rainbow House. Okay. Is that where you go then? Uh, yeah? Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, mashallah. <laughs> Very good. Um, so, we're talking about stories of the prophets today. Yeah. Um, what do you know about prophets in general? Anything that you know about prophets? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so, they were sent down. So, in case if anything was going wrong. Like they were no sent down? Yeah. Or revelation sent down? No, they were sent down. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. So did they come from skies to us? Or no. Or were they from us? Yeah, they're from us. Okay. Um, so um, they sent the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm. So Allah sent down the messages to the prophets, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's their duty to tell everyone. Okay. What do you know about the prophets? Um... Do you know names of the prophets? Yeah. Do you, I mean, which prophets do you know about? Um, Nuh. Nuh, do you know how many prophets are mentioned in the Quran? 25. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 25 prophets mentioned in the Quran. And we know quite a bit about all these prophets. Um, and which prophets mentioned the most in the Quran? I'll give you a clue. The name of the Prophet starts with the letter M. Muhammad. Mm -hmm. By name, by name, there's another Prophet mentioned most. Musa. Musa a. If you read the Quran, you'll see the name of Musa a. is there so many times. How many times? Oh. So many times. <laughs> okay, so you'll see the Prophet's name a lot of times. And uh, yeah, there's so many stories related to the story of Prophet Salah, of Musa alayhi salam. Like the story of Pharaoh. Have you heard of Pharaoh? Yes. He yeah. That naughty one. Yeah, the naughty guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And have you heard of um, the River Nile? Yes, in Africa. In Africa, yes. Yeah, also related to that story. Have you heard of um, Bani, Banu Israel? Yes. yes. Yeah, that's related to that as well. So many stories in the Quran related to the story of Musa alayhi salam. Have you heard of Khidr alayhi salam? No. Okay, don't worry about that. There's another story in the Quran um, where Musa alayhi salam learns from another uh, messenger Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, find out. What, um, what are you going to do today then? Yeah, I'm going to recite Surah Al-Kaf, the first ten lines. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Surah Al Kahf. Have you heard of Surah Al Kahf? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When you ready? 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا قيما لينذر بأسا شديدا من لدنه ويبشر المؤمنين ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أجرا حسنا ما كفين فيه أبدا وينذر الذين قالوا اتخذ الله ولدا ما لهم به من علم وآل آبائهم كبرت كلمة تخرج من أفواههم إن يقولون إلا كذبا فلعلك باخي نفسك على آثارهم إن لم يؤمنوا بهذا الحديث أسفا إنا جعلنا ما على الأرض زينة لها ونبلوكم أيهم أحسن عملا وإنا لجاعلون ما عليها صعيدا جرزا أن حسبت أن أصحاب الكهف والرقيم كانوا من آياتنا عجبا إذ أول فتية إلى كهف فقالوا ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وما آتنا من لدنك رحمة وحيث لنا من أمننا رجبا رشدا ما شاء الله beautiful recitation as well both of you have very nice voices and very beautiful recitation mashallah do you remember who taught you recitation of the quran uh, yes it's my mom mashallah <laughs> very good your mom is your first teacher isn't it yes 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 and that is why um what should we do in return yeah. if someone done if someone has done uh, so much favor for you what should you do in return payback payback you're gonna give her money every week <laughs> yeah, How much are you going to pay? I don't know, five pounds. <laughs> okay, Alhamdulillah, you're earning loads, right? Yeah? <laughs> okay, yeah. so payback, uh, the way to do it is how? Can you think of some ways you can pay back to your parents? Oh, yeah, so when they grow old and we uh, have the opportunity so that we can uh, handle ourselves, so yeah. we take care of them because they're old, uh, they're, they don't have really like possibilities that we do so we should help them because yeah. they helped us when we were little so do you have to wait until you become older and they become older can is there anything you could do now yes. uh, uh, let, let's find out from Tahsin. is there anything you could do now right now not right now like when you go home <laughs> for your parents <laughs> uh. anything mm. actually tell me what your parents do for you yeah, they cook the food and they bath us. The food. And, yeah, bath um, us. Uh, is that it? No. Do you suddenly turn up to school? Like you sit down on a chair and magically you just turn no. up into school? No. <laughs> no? Uh, she no. takes us to school. She okay. brings us back from school. Okay. Uh, she pays the money for my, you know. Extra school. classes if you go yes. to any. Um, who buys your clothes? My mom. Mm. Dad. Don't forget your dad. It's not all about yeah. mom, okay? <laughs> yeah, dad. <laughs> no, obviously. Yeah, my dad as well. Uh, so, there is a lot of things you've mentioned already. I'm sure there are more, right? Yeah, yeah. infinite. There are more things, isn't it? Yes. Do you go out um, and about to play? Yes. Sometimes? Yes. Do you go traveling anywhere? Yes. yes. Who yes. takes you there? Again, do you suddenly show up to a different place? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, my dad and mom take me. Okay. So, all these things, great things that you do, your parents help you do it. Is there anything that you could do? I or you have to wait mm. another 40 years before you go <laughs> No. Um, what could you, you do? You could help tidy up the house. Yeah, you could, you, could, you could perhaps look after your own room if you have one. Yes. Yeah. Um, you could, um, if you are able to cook food, then you can. Okay. <laughs> um, do you have any baby sister or brother? Yes. yes. Okay, could you look after them a little bit when mom yeah. cooking? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. So you could do that. What about, um, all right, who's, 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 who can do hoovering? Uh, who can do the hoovering? Yeah, yeah, we can. You can do. So can you try and do that a little bit? Yes. yes. Okay. The main thing you can, the way to pay back, 
is be kind to them and nice to them. If you are really nice to your mom and dad, they wouldn't ask anything else from you. That will make them really happy. So don't say any rude words. Yeah, be gentle. Listen to them. If they say anything, you can listen to them, right? Yeah. Yeah, do little things here and there. So that's really nice, alhamdulillah. And I wanted to continue with, so you recited from Surah Kahf and you wanted to talk about it, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so in Surah Kahf, um, it mentions this story in the last two lines, 9 and 10. Mm -hmm. So um, it says that, um, so this, I think it was some bro boys, um, usually known as seven, mm -hmm. so um, seven of them. So um, they were living in a really, really bad time. So the king, uh, he said, okay, you have to believe in me. Otherwise, I punish you and or I kill you. So um, they decided, okay, uh, we're going to go somewhere else so that we can practice our deen. Mm -hmm. So they went all the way to this cave, calf. So um, they went in there and they made dua to Allah um, to help them and to keep them, uh, you know, to care them. So soon Allah made them fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And they slept for a long, long, long period. And when they woke up, so they were feeling hungry and they went to the shop and then, um, so they gave them money and then the shopkeeper is feeling a little bit strange because <laughs> he actually doesn't recognize the money. <laughs> so and then they have a conversation and then the boys realize that they're in a different time where they're <laughs> also Muslims. SubhanAllah. Okay. What up? Do, do you want to say more? No. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. MashaAllah. That is a beautiful story. Um, what do you think we learn from that story? Um, never um, um, never what? give up in Allah's deen. Have faith in Allah. Yeah. And what can Allah do? Can you live like, I mean, nowadays, they, these people, they, they were asleep for hundreds of years. How long do we sleep? When you go to sleep, you sleep like only a few hours, seven, eight hours. Yeah. Uh, so one of the things I I would learn from this story, I hope you learn as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah. One of the things you could learn from this story is, um, if Allah wants something, or whatever Allah subhanahu wa taala wants will happen. If Allah wants someone to sleep for a thousand years, is that possible? Yes. Yes. And will they, uh, will they become like a thousand years older, or can they be exactly no, they the, will same? Be the same? You know, if age. Allah wants, they could be thousand years older. <laughs> if Allah wants, they will be exactly the same. So in the case of these young men, they woke up exactly the same. They even had their money on, nothing. You know, if you, if you, when people die, what happens to their skin? What happens oh, yeah, to their um, flesh? Yeah, yeah, what? I think. It's, it, it vanishes, right? Yeah. With, with the earth. But in this case of these people, nothing happened. They were all fine. fine. They were all fine. They still had money. <laughs> they had 400 years ago. So, uh, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants, the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bigger than anything. 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 So, if a big guy comes to your class, tries to, I'm not saying that you, you're in school there is bullying, but, <laughs> you know, tell him, he, don't think you're big. Who is big? Allah. Allah. There is no one bigger than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one more powerful than Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we're talking about stories of prophets, okay? Uh, with the stories of the prophets, what you see in law of the time is the prophets were obviously the good people and you had some bad people with them as well. Uh, so at the time of Musa alayhi salam, we had a really bad guy as well. Do you know the name of the guy? Pharaoh. Pharaoh, yeah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about Pharaoh a lot of the time. And you can see, he, he used to think he's so big that he claimed he was what? Uh. He was G O. He thought he was God. Oh. He said to his people, believe me, believe in me, I'm God. That's what he said, okay? And obviously, could he save himself? <laughs> no. Uh, what do we learn from Surah Al-Ikhlas? Uh, does, uh, does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have any parents? No. No. Does he have any children? No. No. What about Pharaoh? Pharaoh was, did he, Pharaoh have a father? Yes. Yes. Does Pharaoh sleep? Yes. Yes. Allah SWT does not sleep, Allah SWT does not need any sleep, does not need food, but we human beings do. So, some of the foolish people believed in Pharaoh, but did Musa AS believe in Pharaoh? No. No. So that's one of the things we learn uh, from the stories. Um, that no one is big, no one is uh, bigger. 
Allah is the only most yes. powerful. Okay? That's really good, mashallah. Um, okay, I'm just going to remind our friends at home that if you would like to call, speak to uh, here, Tawsif and Tahsin. You can, you can call, inshallah. They are ready to speak to you. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want to say anything, that's also fine, inshallah. Uh, we're going to see if there's anything else these two little ones want to share with us. Uh, have, have you said everything you had to say today? Yes. I, I thought someone's going to say a story. Uh, oh, yeah. Who was it? Tahsin. Yeah. Tahsin, are you ready? Yeah, but he's going to help me if he's that stuck. Hmm? He's, he's going to help, help you, that's fine. That's fine, that's what big brothers are for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so I want to talk about North. Alayhi <laughs> salam. Yeah. So. Are, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, you can start. Your brother will help. Uh. Story of Nuh alayhi salam. Okay, why don't you start for him and then he can okay, continue. Okay, so, um, so Adam alayhi salam, so he died. He died. So it's been a f like some years, some years have passed by. Mm. And then now people are starting to disbelieve, so they make idols and they pray. Okay, what happened next? You're nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say more, say more. Let's hear okay. more. Okay, so, um, Allah decided it was time to bring another prophet. So, um, so he um, sent down Nuh, and uh, Nuh was born. And then soon he started preaching to people to believe in Islam. No one that very much believed him. Only a few. Even his mother never believed either. Mm. So, um, nine hundred fifty years passed by. Nine hundred fifty years. Yes. Wow, uh. it's a very long time. Yes. And he was alive all this time, right? Yes. Yes. Subhanallah. Okay, keep going. So, uh, 950 years passed by. So he makes dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, look, uh, I've preached this, I preach this much uh, and I work so hard, but still no one is believing me. So Allah's like, okay, don't worry. Make a, you know, ark. It's known as a boat. Oh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, Do you want to continue? Mm. Or maybe another day. Okay, <laughs> keep going. So um, then what happens? So he makes the bow and he tells his, you know, um, so, you know, the people who believe, he mm. tells them to help as well. Allah said that when, um, when water gushes from his oven, that's the time when the flood will start. So, um, so he has to gather all of the, you know, animals. Yeah. And... Um, the believers, so he built it and built and built, and the disbelievers seen it, and then he's like, they're like, um, why are you building an ark? Yeah. Is it because it's going to go on the sand or the mountains? So, <laughs> um, so he didn't care. Nuh alayhi salam didn't care, so he carried on. Because why didn't he care? Because they were. It was an order from who? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if Allah orders something, it doesn't matter what other people think about it, does it? No. No. So um, after that, so one day he had seen um, water gushing from his oven. So he ran and found all the animals and the believers and he put them in the ark. And then soon the flood was, and then rain started to come and a heavy storm. And then soon it started flooding. This would go on for 40 nights and 40 days. Oh, and soon the disbelievers realized why he had made this ark. They, he tried, they tried climbing on, but they could not because um, the flood was so high and they drowned. All of them drowned. One second we learn Allah's power is more than anybody else and anything else. Thank you to both of you, Tawsif and Tahsin, for being here. It's been wonderful having you around. Uh, we are going to go for a short break. And inshallah, um, after the break, we have two more guests. And I'm sure you will join us again. Um, so enjoy the break and we'll, we'll, we'll be back inshallah after the break. See you soon. <laughs> 